So when you're one on one with the keeper, I opt to go for the finesse shot with the green time finishing. Hey guys, this is Dolan Mike. I'm a FIFA esports player for Team Neo, and today I'm going to give you a FIFA 22 shooting masterclass. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best out of scoring situations, whether it's finesse shots from outside the box, one on one with the keepers, or low driven shots in the box. So the first thing you need to know about finesse shots is that you position your player perfectly. And in this case, I'm playing with Mbappe, obviously a right for the player. And I'm aiming for the long corner because it's just a natural way of the finesse shot. And in this clip, I'm also taking like a small extra step. So I can kind of shoot the ball right through the gap between his defenders. And for the power, uh, for me, the best way is just to kind of uh, load up three bars and you can just uh, use the time finishing if you hit a circle again just as the player hits the ball uh, you will see a green uh, thing flashing above the player and that will indicate the green time finishing and the ball will fly better and go into the goal now i'm going to talk about the low driven shots which is uh, one of my favorite ways to score inside the box especially with the goalkeepers being pretty good this year and when you Obviously shoot the ball low driven, you kind of avoid the goalkeeper of saving it. So in this clip I am with them personally in the box and in this case if I were to do a normal shot the goalkeeper would easily save it up high and if I put more power then it will probably go over the bar but in this case I just put a low driven shot. You do that by pressing L1, R1 and shoot at the same time because uh, you can put uh, even more power than with a normal shot and it stays low to the ground, the keeper can't save it with his feet because it's too fast and the most important thing is that you power up your shot really well so in this case I have over 3 bars and another important aspect is that you aim it right into the corner but you have to really aim it into the corner and in this case it went in because it was a really fast shot So now I'm going to talk to you about the best finishing ways in a 1v1 scenario with the goalkeeper on the one side it's the chip shot and on the other side it's the finesse shot to the near post. So when you're one on one with the keeper and in this case the goalkeeper is standing a bit too close to the striker, the low driven shot might not work. I opt to go for the finesse shot near post with the green time finishing. Obviously when you're in a 1v1 with the goalkeeper there are many ways to score. You can even go around the keeper, you can chip it. There are many ways to do it but in this case with the goalkeeper positioning and the positioning of Mbappe, I chose to go for the uh, finesse shot to the new post. Okay, so the last tip I'm going to give you in a 1v1 scenario with the goalkeeper is the chip shot. And for the chip shot this year, it's all about timing. As you can see, uh, in this case, I'm really close to the goalkeeper and nothing would work besides the chip shot. The perfect timing is that you kind of are in the motion of chipping it right as the goalkeeper is dying for the ball, which is in this case the perfect example. For the power it's pretty easy, you just load up 2-3 to three bars, because if it's over the goalkeeper it will go in, and no matter the fact how many bars you put. Hey guys, thanks for watching my FIFA 22 shooting masterclass, I hope this helped you out and you will score a lot of more goals. See you on the pitch.